Chan, now you developed uh, touch math over 30 years ago when you were teaching in the classroom, right? Right. What experiences led you to kind of stumble across this discovery? I was an elementary school teacher for about 15 years, and I taught all of the elementary grades. And the year that touch math came into play, I had a sixth grade class. Seven students in that class were not able to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And that's very frightening by the time they've gotten to sixth grade. Many of them had been tutored. They came from upper middle class homes. They didn't have the typical excuses or the things we think of. They just didn't get it. So I was working with a friend, Lynn, um, and Lynn was a special ed teacher. And she had the numerals from one through five and was working on six through nine. And we worked together on that and started using them with the children. And between February of that year and June, when they finished sixth grade, they were able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with 97% accuracy. How did you come up with the unique touching and counting patterns? The first five are pretty well the touching and counting patterns that anybody, anyone here would pick. And so we just went with what would be normal. Six, seven, eight, and nine, we actually had to research. We tried it out with different children of different ages and found out what they would do most naturally. And then we just went with the majority of the students that we studied. We did that over a five-year period.